Who is cold out here? So I spent the better part of the week, you know, looking at feeds and things online, you know, some of these press conferences and stuff and some of this stuff going on. And, you know, I noticed that there's this big clamor to do something about climate change. And, you know, you have all of these different people, you know, the UN is involved and they're pushing these agendas and stuff. And, and I wanted you guys, I told you from the beginning, this is not something that you can fix because you're not the responsible hands and nor are you dealing with the real reasons of why this has happened. There's nothing you can do about it. You've had all the time that you were going to have, folks. And that's the whole point of this all. So, you know, I did that. And then, you know, I had my own stuff going on throughout the week. My hustle and bustle, the rat race and all the bullshit and stuff I had to deal with. And the stresses and unnecessary things that were piling up and stuff I had to tend to and all of this foolishness. You know, and after a long day one day, I went home, you know, took a hot shower sat back I worked on the book a little bit and uh decided to get dressed on a great one on a great one on a y'all family moon goddess is out today the great one is out today everyone is this is great but you know I took a shower and everything and so you know little later I went walking and it was dark out but I didn't care because I felt a certain type of way you know how you get to that place folks I know many of you have been there where you're just you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired you're fed up with everything and because you have the real understanding of what you're really dealing with when the majority of people when we use this terminology of the matrix or something we're talking about people basically who who are just materially grounded to what's going on right now they're grounded in this society they're granted in this reality most of them believe that this is all there is and based on the the conditions of that environment it affects their conscious way of thinking how they view themselves how they view others you get what i'm saying so i went you know i went walking and i you know i got really far out in the woods somewhere and there's like a hill and I know this place but um, I went up this hill and I sat on the hill and it was so beautiful because you know the great one she was right there she was with me the whole walk but I'm just saying that she literally had the moon right there so I decided to sit under the moon the moonlight so beautiful great one on a great one go to nature God. oh wow man y'all just getting oh this is great today So, you know, I set out and, you know, they already know what I'm dealing with in certain things in society and just various things that, you know, troubles and all of the stuff I look at. They understand this. They're there in every moment, in every second. So I'm sitting there thinking and I'm just I'm just disgusted with everything. I'm just thinking about everything. I just sat back and analyzed. You know, this guy had a video I looked at. Uh. And he was talking about some of that stuff going on with the U.N. And he was talking about the commodity and, you know, the crop exchanges and, you know, and the pricings and how the farmers and stuff are holding on to their crops and stuff because, you know, they want a a better share of the market or fair share or something. And, you know, and these bureaucrats and these businessmen and all this stuff. And and that's fine and, and, and well what he was saying because that's true. But what I wanted you guys to understand about the covet, because all of this is relative. You know, there are many people who have great potential to be farmers, right? And they wanted to do such a thing, but they never had an opportunity because they weren't given any opportunities. It's based on because of who they were, right? Or who they are or something. And so when you're living in a society held by hands of evil and narcissistic mind think and group think, You get people who hoard things, who can't see the abundance of things, and that's why they get those things taken away. You see how this works? 
you're not in control of anything. You can't do anything. There's no legislation or there's no meetings or anything you can do on any level to keep Mother Earth from doing what she's doing because this is what she's doing. You haven't acknowledged that, okay? The most high is calling for this, which is the most important aspect of this all. Because you, you're talking about this. You're reading about this. Some of you religious leaders of huge following, you understand that the, the most high has spoken this. And that's why it's in your books. And you're preaching these things. But you don't really believe in them, right? You're telling people, you know, you're talking about all these morals and things and certain aspects and of, of how society should be and pointing out certain things but you yourselves have never done anything uh, right by anyone so yeah I feel for people when they're having hardships but that's my point I'm making I said out there we all have them but who's putting them on us see there are many people that that government agencies don't look out for there are many people there are millions you know, I looked at, I, I was looking at commercials this week and I, you know, all of these nice little family commercials and stuff. And you see these families and they're walking to their, you know, in their nice laid out properties and their beautiful homes and their gated communities that only people like them can live in. And they have it purposely set up like that, folks. On land that Mother Earth is holding, folks, breathing the same air you're breathing. Right. Have not paid Mother Earth a dime for the air. Have not paid the great ones a dime for anything that they're providing you. But somehow have figured out how to hoard all of these resources and use the might of military or something. To punk out everybody or everyone else. And decide, you know, with that narcissistic group mind thing, who should get what? Who should be in the covet? And if you want someone who's who's unfortunate to be in that covet, if they want to be in it, they're going to have to give up something that's way more valuable than any of your commodities. You get what I'm saying? So you think you're going to pass legislation and that's going to stop, you know, the severe freeze overs or all of the things that are going to come forward. You really believe that? I asked you guys many videos because we're getting to this, this point. If you believe that the Most High is capable of delivering all of the things that he's spoken and that you have championed and that you have preached all of these many generations, do you believe that that he can he can accomplish these things? Do you believe that it is true? Right. We get caught up in all of this technical bullshit and wording. I was talking about this the other day. You know, some of you gurus out here who speak on technical wording. Right. So 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 you talk about what karma is. Right. Let's let's throw that word out. Let's just talk about retribution. That's what this is about. You understand that word retribution? Do you understand what that means and how that works? Right. You you offend other people. You infringe on other people. Right. You do all of these 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 nasty, evil things to other people suppress. Right. And then one day, there's going to be a rectification of those things, right? That's what this is about, retribution. So you can say karma, you can say retribution, you can call it whatever you want, it's called the reckoning. And when I was sitting out on this hill, you know, with the great ones, and it was so beautiful, folks, because, you know, all of the stars were out that night. And literally, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about my blessing, I'm sitting here looking at, and a sky full of stars in the night sky. All of them have faces. I'm looking at family. They're looking at me. We're looking at each other. And no one is present to experience this moment, you know, to, to, to bear witness to this moment. That's what I'm saying. These are the great things that happen in my life every day. And this is why I talk about when I put that faith in it. I was talking to the Most High, by the way, when I was on this hill. And I was talking to him about this very thing. All of this bullshit societal troubles taxes whatever you're dealing with that you got to situate that some hand put on you right just for the just for the purpose of suppressing you because money is not real so i'm sitting before the stars right 
And they all know that I'm troubled. And I'm sitting here going, this is amazing. I said, Lord, I'm sitting before you in the heavens. I said, I'm looking at the great stars before me. The great ones before me. All of the stars in the sky. Everyone is present. I'm looking at everyone as individual. Collectively. And I'm blessed on this level. This is might, Lord. When you talk about real might, you guys don't know what might is. You guys don't, you, you don't have a clue what might is. Your ability to breathe air, your ability to do any of these things is being provided to you. Right? The only payment you were expected to make was giving your praise to the most high creator, Vishnu. That was the only thing you were supposed to be doing, folks. Somehow, your politics, somehow your commodities, somehow all of these other things are more important than the, the bigger issue. You blame people, and I, I you know, I, I deal with people. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of people, folks. You know, I'm not giving humans the benefit of the doubt anymore because I, I, I am human, and I just don't see where we can grow, folks. Everything that you say about growing is all bullshit. It's all talking points, folks. You know, a lot of you wanted things to be decided for you, right? So you let these agencies or whoever they are control your lives. And they're, they're, they're hell bent on it because they really are hell bent because that's where they're from, folks. And they want to push you there and take you there. So the best of you are getting tired and weary at this point, like me. And we know some changes are coming, folks. The best of you do anyway. See, I try to make you guys understand if you don't believe that this day is coming, no matter if you have your books or, you know, or you, you got your little backup channels or you, you did this or that just in case, what are you saying to the most high? Because he's present. He knows your hearts, folks. What are you saying to him? Are you saying that man, that shit wiping, I mean, nose wiping, shit, shitty street draw, underwear politician has more might than the most high who's holding his life and holding yours? And you don't believe that. Right? I heard people talk about, I've heard all types of stuff. People talk about neuroticism, right? And I and I and I entertain it for a minute because I thought, well, you know, if I'm telling you that the great sun and the great moon goddess, honor, and the great mother earth herself, honor great one, is are real beings who are providing for you. And they're doing it as a duty for the most high God, right? Vishnu, folks. Whom is giving you life and holding your life, who holds the universe and all creation, folks. This is something you have in your doctrines. You know God exists, right? But somehow, in many different ways, you know, you don't think God is the ultimate. You don't think God is the true holder of your lives. Because you put all your faith in man. That's what I'm saying. You know? I'm tired of having all these conversations and you know, talking about, you know, the better things. And I always have a but, 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 or, or, or I know, but I know, but what you think, you think, do you believe that the most high is capable of bringing the reckoning folks? That's the question, right? How do you look after this all goes down? How do you look saying that you were on board with everything when you had a backup plan? You get what I'm saying? Why would you have a backup plan? Do you not believe that the Most High holds your life? See, I'm bearing witness to these things every day. This is my point about telling you about what happened on the hill the other night. These are real things. If many of you had an opportunity, because see, you have to fix something in your heart to get that opportunity. See, it's like a catch-22 type of thing. It's not easy, folks, right? The Most High knows who is chosen of, right? And he's going to make you, he's going to make you, you uh, validate yourselves, folks. You're going to have to prove some things. Right? You went along with all of this bullshit, right? I tried to explain to you on so many levels. All of this stuff that we're doing. These people suppress. They take. 
right? They don't care anything about you. You're just a commodity on all levels. That's why I told you. The merchants will, 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 will face a consequence, folks. Retribution. Not because I'm saying it. Not because I'm saying it, but because the most has says it. Now, if you want to check and reference where he said this at, go look at your books. Any of you motherfuckers around the world society. Any of you so-called funky underarm people in high authority, so-called. Who in one second could lose anything and everything. Right? So you're going you're gonna to try to fight climate change. What is that? How are you going to do that? What is your decisions on how you reckon with something? How is that going to have any, any bearing or effect on any of the outcome when I told you what the outcome was? Right? Is there any section in, the, in your books or your doctrines where, where you're inserted saying what you're going to do in that, that part where this is going on in that book? Right? You're not written in that, right? And I'm not going to do a lot of videos after this, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let some time, you know, go on for a while. And you'll see why. But I wanted to talk today. I did. Because, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired, folks. You know, this is just a, 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 a bare bones message to you guys. Just to the people I'm talking to, certain people. Those people who, who want to understand what they need to be doing next. Who, who really believe this is real. It is real. You know, I'm not thinking about what you think about. Uh, I'm talking about those critics out there who talk about neuroticism and stuff. You know. So, so you see all of this stuff happening, right? Consecutively for months and months on end. Every single day. Every time one major storm goes, another storm comes. Right? This is real life, real reality, right? And so I tell you, the public, that God is doing this. You know it's supernatural. The, the forecasters and the meteorologists and everything, they're telling you that this is very unusual. They're telling you this in so many words, that this is, this is anomalous shit, right? You know what you're saying. You know it, right? So you know it has to be God's hand. Right. You know, it has to be time for something. Something's happening. You know this. So when I tell you that Mother Earth is a real being whom I know. You somehow sense some some type of neuroticism in me as if I'm crazy because I'm telling you that the most high is real. You see why when the time comes, folks, I'm going to be OK. And you're not. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, folks? So I only make these videos for those people like I was starting out saying that, that want to understand how this works and want to hold on to the most high. Who want to understand how they can communicate with him or, or what they should be doing to get closer to the most high. This is not about me. Right? I don't hold your lives, folks. I don't hold any of your lives. But I look at people every day who deal me or deal other people that I witness injustices and not think about retribution because they don't believe really honestly that there's a capable hand of delivering that retribution, even though they're witnessing this. Right. So in a major, you know, you guys witness a, a, a major situation where a whole entire island got taken out. Right. You think that wasn't God's hands, folks? You understand what I'm trying to explain to you? A whole entire island. So, so anything less than that, right? Surely you could expect anything less than that to happen right at this point, right? So that's why I'm trying to show you who's really crazy. You're looking at things presently happening in your face that you have no fucking control over whatsoever. However, you're going you're gonna to get together in your little groups and you're going to cover it and you're going to try to figure out a way to stop these things from happening, right? So when you start losing air, what are you going to do about that, folks? Huh? You understand? We're going to get a missile. You're going to get a you're going to get a, a rifle or something. What are you going to do to stop to stop the air uh, to keep the air intact? Better way to put it. Huh? You're going to do something physical to make the air stay intact, folks. 
How do you keep the ground intact, folks? You're gonna you're gonna build a bomb or something? They generally take away the ground, right? But when I think about it, you know, you see all of this stuff happening, you you shrieking, you say, oh, this is so terrible. Right? But then, you know, because 50 people got killed or something, or some casualty or number or something. But then when you think about all the times in war and history, when you dropped a fucking bomb on 50,000 people, right? Vaporized them and shit. None of you cried then, right? None of you felt sympathy. You see, we're talking about retribution again. I'm trying to show you who you are. Those of you who are in covet with the people who want to get the teeth kicked out, right? And I want you to bear witness to that because you really don't believe the power of the Most High was talking to him, folks. And I laugh. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting before stars, folks. Real stars in the sky. You know, like NASA pays all this money, this fake money to look at, right? So called. Real heavenly bodies, real heavenly beings, right? Who will crush you, folks, any of you. Right? You understand what I'm trying to explain to you? None of you hold might over the heavens. None of you, none of you most certainly hold might over the most high. Right? And I pray that the worst of you get dealt away with in the worst way possible. I pray for this. You have dealt too much pain. You have no, you don't even have a good proper reasoning of the pain you've dealt other people, folks. So it's that time, I guess. So I'm not going to talk too much longer. I'm on a walk. You know, stress reliever. And I have the great ones with me. You know, and they're comforting. Honor y'all. But, and you may not hear from me for a while, right? I just want y'all to take account to your own. To those people who, who follow this channel for real, I want you to take account to your own selves. I want you to talk to God. And I want you to tell God that no matter what happens in the circumstance, that you are trying to reach him and that you know he holds your life. And that you give him praise. His name is Vishnu. His name is Harry. And I, I recommend you call out his name, folks. Really soon. Okay? You don't have to like this video. You don't have to care. Could care less. Right? I'm, I'm sick of humanity. I'm sick of y'all. The majority of you guys are ignorant. You're being led by demonic fools. Right? And all of the people, you know, who have taken into this covet, who think somehow that, that the might of a man, of a booty funker, of a booty stinker, of an underarm funker, of a nose blower, right? Somehow can, can deflect thunderbolts that come from the heavens or somehow can deflect cyclones, you know, bomb cyclones or any of these things, right? Man has that might, doesn't it? And if you believe that, you're going to find out he doesn't really soon. You understand? I don't know when the next time we're going to talk again, but we'll be talking soon. Soon enough. Y'all take care.